hello and welcome to the channel today i'll show you how to design this model from start cut cam side and we will do this model as a practical exercise in FreeCAD. so now let's go to FreeCAD, and here we'll create a new document and we select part design workbench and now print body and next here we go to additive features and what we'll do here is to create this cylinder here so we select we click in this arrow and we select cylinder tool and here we'll select yz plane okay and now check this option here websites and the reds here we can see here here we have a diameter of 40 so the reds of the cylinder will be 20 and the heat will be 40 so we change here to 20 and here we set 40 and enter okay and next here we create a new sketch in yc plane and what we'll do in the sketch here is to draw a slot for this part here so here we select slot tool and we click in this origin point and we draw this slot and now select this tool here and extract this edge and what we'll do here is to select this arc and this cycle here and here we can see that the dimension for this arc here and this cycle is the same so we set equal and now we select this vertical distance tool select this point here and this point or you can select this line here and here we'll set a length of here we see 40 so we change here to 40 and we leave the sketch here and we go to this pet tool okay and here we can see that the length of this pad here is 10 millimeters okay so here we check this option reverse it and linked here we set 10 and next here we'll draw this part here, the cylinder. So what to do here is to select this face here and create a new sketch. And here what we'll do is to okay press home. And now what to do here is to select this tool here and extract this edge. And now draw a cycle here in this center point and constrain the diameter of the cycle to okay to this dimension here and now what to do is to leave this sketch and go to okay here we go to we go to pad tool and we check this option reverse it and the link here will set 15 this dimension here and okay now we have this and next here we select we select this face here and you go to pad tool we set reverse it and here we'll set we'll set 20 plus 10 plus 15 so we put this formula here Okay, and now we have this so click OK and what we'll do here next here we'll draw this part here so what to do here is to okay here we create a new sketch and why is it blink okay and and now here we'll draw this sketch here so here we select we switch to section no we select this tool here we extract this edge and switch to section view and now we select this line tool and we draw a line in this vertical line and now here we select this arc tool click in this point here select this end point and draw this arc here and now we draw this arc in this way and next here we'll draw this arc and this horizontal line so here we click in this origin point click in this point here and draw this arc and now select this length tool and connect this 
two points now we select this line here and vertical constraint okay and what you'll do next is to select this tangent constraint and make this arc tangent to this arc here and now here we'll set the dimension for this sketch so okay here we see this this horizontal distance here so what to do here is to select this vertical this horizontal distance tool and select these two points and we set the half of eight okay so now we have this and next here we'll constraint this arc here to a range of 25 okay and this arc here okay we don't have the radio of this arc here but for this arc we have a range of 50 okay and here we have this distance for the center points of these arcs here we have 115 so what to do is to select this horizontal distance tool and now this point here and this point and here we'll set the half of 150 okay and what we'll do next is to set the vertical distance okay and here we don't have so what to do here is to select this tool and now this line here and here we can set 15 Okay, 15 is it's okay so we'll leave this sketch here and next we go to model and we select this sketch here and now we're going to click on mouse and select attachment editor and here we'll change the z duration here we'll change the z duration to 20 plus 10 we'll set 20 plus 10 Okay, and now leave this sketch. No, click OK. Select this sketch here and go to Pad Tool. And here, check this option. Reverse it. And now we set the length to 10 millimeters. It's OK. So here, click OK. And now select this pad here. Go to Mirrored Feature. And click OK. Press Home. And now you can see this. Okay, and next here we'll create this cylinder and this cylinder here. So what to do is to select this face here and create a new sketch. Press home and now select this tool here. Okay, and extract this edge here. And next select this cycle tool and click on this point here and draw this cycle here and now draw this second cycle and now we'll set the dimension for these cycles here so we select this constraint here and click in this cycle and the diameter for this cycle here we'll set we'll set 20 Okay, and for this cycle okay and now what you'll do here is to okay here we select this point and this point and now coincident okay sorry select this point here and now this point and now this constraint here so now this sketch is constrained, so we leave this sketch and we go to pad tool. And the length of the pad here will set okay. And next here, what to do is to select this face here and go to this pad tool. And here we'll set this dimension plus this dimension here. So here will set seven and okay. And now we have this and now here we'll create these two pockets this pocket here and this pocket so what to do is to 
select the space here and create a new sketch okay we we'll press home and now we we'll select this centered rectangle tool clicking this vertical line and draw this rectangle and next select the circle tool and clicking this origin point here okay and now we'll set the amount of the cycle to here we have two millimeters so we set two and now we select this tool here click in this line here and we'll set we'll set two millimeters okay and here we have this distance between the center point to this line here we have seven so we select this vertical distance tool and now we select this point here and this origin point and we set seven and now we leave this sketch and go to pocket tool and the length here we set 20 millimeters this is the mission here and now we have this and next here we'll do these fillet operations so here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool we change the ridge to two millimeters and now we click in this add button and we add we add this edge here select this edge and press home and select this edge okay and now click ok and now we have this part here so as you can see we finished the design of this model here so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like okay